So in London, police are being recruited who are illiterate. Yes, officers who can't read and write are being recruited in order to meet diversity quotas. And by the way, also now being hired are officers who have criminal records, because how could any of this go wrong? Uh, who knows? But it's all to fulfill a mandate, or what you might call a promise, that the force will be made up of 40% ethnic minorities by 2023, and they're nowhere close to that. They have about 17% of their officers being from non-white backgrounds, which is what they mean when they say ethnic minorities. To be clear here, London is expected to become a city in which white people are the minority in the next decade, and so as a result of that they want more uh, non-white officers to supposedly represent the area. That's what they're claiming. But London is largely full of immigrants. That's what the, the non-white people there aren't even native. And if they are, they tend not to have fully acclimated because you have created regions in which they're all immigrant. Then they don't, you don't have like some kind of uh, mixing of immigrant and native and, and all kind of merging together to form the British culture. That's not the case at all. Um, so anyway, they're recruiting these officers who are quite literally struggling to write crime reports because they can't write. Um, this is in a city where major department stores have given up calling on police because of, you know, robberies. Because police don't come. Police just ignore, you know, shoplifters. They seem to ignore real policing at all, in fact. Car theft in London has basically been decriminalized, you could say, because they have <laughs> they have solved 277 out of 55,000 car thefts. Um, that's their current 0.5% success rate. Yay. And so one might wonder, what are the police doing that doesn't facilitate, that doesn't involve them actually solving real crimes and doesn't involve them needing to read or write because diversity or something. Well, what they're doing is really important, you see. They're showing up at every Pride event and letting people know how included they are. That is what they're doing. What the police in London are also doing is prosecuting people for saying things that are offensive to someone, but most especially offensive to one of their particular uh, privileged groups, whether that be the LGBT group, or those who are pro-abortion, or whatever. That's really, it's not just London policing, that is the state of British policing at this point. Kind of a, it's, it's worse in some cases than in others, or in some places than others, but generally speaking that's at the very least the direction that British policing is going. And then you have to say, well aren't we glad that guns are banned? Because that's what I'm told. I'm told that England is better and more crime-free because there are no guns on the streets, and ignoring the fact that there is, in fact, some gun crime, uh, which is increasing even though the laws are the same, uh, ignoring that, what we have here is a situation in which people don't have the ability to defend themselves, to defend their property, uh, crime is completely ignored, police aren't showing up at crimes, and you have some kind of anarchic state. And the crime rates don't look probably as bad as they ought to because people aren't even calling anymore. So you can't even see how bad these things are. Because, and anyway, if you did call, who's going to write the police report? Because increasingly, that's a skill that the officers can't, compl you know, can't complete. So that's the state of, of policing again. And I think this isn't just like a London thing. This is to various degrees happening throughout the UK, and it, it's a consequence of an of a ideology that does not place um, natural law in its proper right. So in other words, that doesn't uphold things like the, the right to, to speak freely, the right to defend oneself, the right to practice your own faith, uh, any of these things. And so instead you have this sort of upside down world, and this is one one taste of that. I think it's going to get worse from here. Hey, you're still here! Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. I've also got links in the description as to how you can help support my work. Thank you so much!